Well hello there and welcome, my name is El Skipper and today I'm going to talk about pistons, rotors and timers, yes, so let's begin by starting off with a piston. A piston is a block in the Space Engineers that is very very useful and its usefulness comes with a variety of ways. So as you can see this is a piston, it is size 2 in the large grid and in the small grid it is also size 2 so you can it is not very hard to hide them it is not very hard to add them to your uh, base or your ship and as you can see the piston has a unique thing which is called extending and retracting and while doing it it can push other blocks so if we add a few blocks in here it will extend with two, those two blocks and it will also retract with two blocks. And let's go to a config of a piston and see what we have in here. So we have an option which is called share initial tension. Uh, which, what, we, what, 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 what does it do? As you can see it equalizes virtual masses of connected grids blah blah blah. It basically can make your grid more stable. In certain situations, when you have a little bit of jiggling, it is very useful to add it, especially on the very big... Uh, when you have a lot of pistons in one place, this might be very, very useful. But sometimes, uh, where the clang looks down on you, it can make big holes in the ground. And as you can see, there is a big hole and it came up from the pistons. So you, you must be careful, you, you do it on your own risk. But sometimes it is advisable to use it, sometimes it is not. Next we have uh, our piston head. If we lose it, we can also, all of course, add it. So how big is the reach of a piston? Uh, we could see in the control panel that it says up to 10 meters. But in the blocks we can say it is 4. So if we press a button, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. And of the fifth one, you, you can have your block. So it basically, you can say it goes 4 blocks. And on the fifth one is your block. We can say it goes five blocks. Say whatever you want. As you can see, it goes four, uh, four blocks. One, two, three, four, four blocks. In the large grid version, and the same goes for a small grid version. It also goes four blocks. And on the fifth one is y'all, but in, in the small grid version. So why is the piston very useful? As you can see, another use case: docking your ship. So let's set an example. You have your big ship. And you have a lot of small fighters, maybe small drones. Drones is the perfect example because drones might have some problems with parking on your ship. And then you can put a landing gear which has auto lock turned on. And you can basically extend your piston. It will go preferably slowly, not to uh, damage anything while it's moving. And it will slowly, slowly go to our ship which is stationed, for example, in a hangar and don't have any landing gear. And uh, it is too far, so let's let's help it a bit. Yeah, so we park. And now we can reverse that. So it may be very, very useful if you're using any type of scripts to, um, to, to, to have drones which are flying and maybe don't know how to park or you don't want them to park because it might be too hard for them they might damage something you can basically use this system on the timers and it will work great and sometimes in this type of system especially if you didn't turn your dampers off on the ship that you that you capture uh, it might be very useful to put share initial tension as you can see i turn it off i had it on and now it's jiggling a lot. And this is a case where you want to put it on and it'll make it very stable. As you can see, there is no more problem with that. And the best case that I found for using pistons, I mean, there are a lot of examples how you can use them, but this is mostly how I use them. So they are great in elevators. As you can see, they're moving us a few blocks high. So on the second, they, they will move us on the, on the first floor. And this is just great they are looking very slim they are easy to hide and they work practically perfectly since the since the changes of the hitboxes and they are great but you can also make them a bit faster 
if this is not for you. Another great thing about pistons is that you can stack them one on top of each other. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four pistons on top of each other. Uh, just remember that if you are putting a piston, if you are putting a piston, just remember if you want another piston to extend with that, you have to put it on top of each other, not put this on the blocks next to it, it but put it on top of each other and it will work great. So as you can see, we have our another elevator. It has some kind of a problem. I don't know why, but something may be not aligned in this grid, in this base. But you can see, it works. And it's even faster because, you know, we have few pistons. We can, of course, have some kind of a sensor in here that will stop you on each of the floors. So that might be very, very helpful. But as you can see, only using, I don't know, four or five pistons, we can move very, very high up. And we can have a high race building. And the most, in my opinion, the most useful thing about the piston, and we will power it up with rotor as in a second, is the drill. The drill, which is the most amazing thing in this world. So you basically put uh, two pistons or even more, and at the end of them, you put your drills. And now you can set it up like this that you press a button and the pistons will go down preferably in very slow speed because I mean I don't have it configured this way but it is very good to have them in slow speed because your drills might not uh, catch up with them and the pistons might try to push them into the ground and it can make a lot of more harm than good and good and then you put on your drills and as you can see it is drilling a hole and the more pistons you have the deeper it will go so it is very very useful it collects a ton of iron and nickel and other resources that you can get up from stone and you can set it up on some ore deposit and it will work great it is amazing if don't if you don't have it just build it in your survival world i mean you don't have to collect resources almost anymore and this is just amazing like wow i cannot live without it thank you guys for watching and i see in the next part where i talk about rotors